Hello everyone. How are you doing? Welcome to Hairlag Literacy eLearning. In last video, I have already show you how to create advanced button with a background image. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create decent vertical menu. Here I'm going to show you how to make decent vertical menu. One of the most standard based menu is the vertical unordered list. Not only is it easy to build, but it is also easy to maintain. If you have watched my previous video regarding button, with the knowledge of the CSS techniques, you are ready to learn how to make a decent vertical menu looking modern and stylish. In order to let you easy to understand this tutorial, I'm going to create specific site for vertical menu. Click site in the menu bar Click New Site, click Empty Site. In the location, write in Vertical Menu, then click OK. Create a page with the name Vertical Menu HTML page. Click in the Empty in Folder List Right-click, click New in Shortcut Menu, click HTML, and type in Vertical Menu. So the HTML page with the name Vertical Menu is created. Create heading of the page. In the design view, write in Welcome to Heraglitters eLearning. Click Code view, change P tag to H1 tag. The heading is created. Directly under heading, write in Heraglitters leads you to the key to open the treasure chest. Create a standard unordered list and add hyperlink on the list. In design view, directly under the paragraph, Heraglitters leads you to the key. Write in menu one. Cover all menu one. Click Bullet in Command Toolbar. Then look at Code View, UL tag wrapped in LI tag. Have created. Indent UL tag. In Design View, Cover Menu 1. Right click on Menu 1 and click hyperlink. Insert hyperlink dialog appeared. Click existing file or web page. Click current folder. And click vertical menu. Hyperlink has been added on menu one. Copy menu one for four times. One line, one time. Change the name to menu 2, menu 3, menu 4, and menu 5. Unorder list with a hyperlink is created. Create a div to wrap the heading, paragraph, and the list. 
click directly above high tag. Double click div tag in toolbox. Move end tag of div directly below end tag of ul. Now div tag have wrapped heading, paragraph, and list. Create CSS file for menu. Right click in the empty in folder list. Click new in shortcut menu. Click CSS and type in menu. CSS file with the name of menu is created. Create ID with the name menu box. Click new style in manage style. In selector, type in menu box. Click down arrow. In defining, click down arrow. Select existing style. In URL, click Browse, click Menu CSS file. Now, ID menu box is created. It's stored in Menu CSS file. Now it's time for the styling of ID menu box. Right click ID menu box in manage style panel. Click modifier style. Click font category. In font family, select arial. In font color, select 333. 333. Click background category. In background color, select EBEADF. Click border category. Select solid 1px and color C4C2AB for all four borders. Click box category, in padding, unchecking, same for all. Set top and the bottom padding to 5px. And right and left padding set to 10px. This is to give the content of menu button some breathing space. Click Position Category in Width, write in 400px. Click OK. Apply ID Style to DIV Tag. Click Inside of DIV Start Tag. Right click ID with the name of Menu Box in Manage Style Panel and click Apply Style and click in Design View. Define the width of menu. To do that, click New Style in Manage Style panel. In Selector, write in Menu Box space UL. In Define In, Existing Style Sheet has been selected. In URL, menu CSS file has been selected so that this style will be stored in menu CSS file. Click position category in width, write in 250px. Remove the list of bullets. To do that, Create new style with the name menu box space ul space ri. 
Click New Style in Manage Style panel. In Selector, write in Menu Box space UL space LI. In Define, Existing Style Sheet has been selected. In URL, Menu CSS file has been selected. Click Box Category. In padding and the margin, write in zero for all. Click list category. In the list style type, select none. Click OK. You can see the list bullet is disappeared. Next up are the links. Create a new style with a selector menu box space UL space LI space A. Click New Style in Manage Style panel. In Select, in Selector, write in menu box space UL space LI space A. In Defining, existing style sheet has been selected. In URL, menu CSS file has been selected. Click Font Category. In Font Size, write in 0.8 EM. In Text Transform, select Uppercase. In Color Select, 666666 and check none under text decoration to remove the underline. Click box category. In padding, set the top and the bottom padding to 5px. Click border category. In border style, select Dotted for bottom. In border width, write in 1px. In border color, select 333333. Click layout category. In display, select block. Make the links into block level elements. Click Apply and click OK. Create Hover Effect. Create new style with the name Menu Box Space UL Space LI Space A Hover. Click New Style in Manage Style panel. In Selector, Write in menu box space UL space LI and space A hover. In defining, existing style sheet has been selected. Menu CSS file has been selected. Click font category. In color, select 333333. Now you have a basic vertical menu. Press Ctrl, press S to save. Click Preview. Change something in vertical menu. I want to change something to make menu more outstanding. Change something in menu box ULRI. Right click menu box ULRI. Click modify style. Click box category. In padding, set left to 5px. Click apply and click OK. Change something in menu box ULRIA style. Right click 
menu box URLIA. Click Modifier Style. Click Box Category. In Padding, set Left to 5px. Click Apply and click OK. Change something in menu box URLIA Hover. Right click menu box URLIA Hover. Click Modify. Click Background Category. In Background Color, select FAFAF5. Click Apply and click OK. Press Ctrl press S to save the page and click Preview. This is end of this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And also, please visit my other tutorial regarding to Microsoft Expression Web 4. See you next time.